Welcome back to Reawaken America. And guess what? One of these beautiful guests we have got awakened. <laughs> I said awake. And she's already beautiful outside. But my God, when she got awakened, she's more beautiful, double blessed. And without further ado, I just want to ask her to say hello and say, why are you here? Kate, um, Anna Kate, please say hello and tell them why are you here. Hey, everybody. God bless you. I'm here to support this great country. I mean, Clay Clark, this Reopen America tour, the boldness of God and the courage of God to say, open up this country. We are done wearing our masks. We are done closing our small businesses. We are done with the Luciferian system that has veered its ugly, nasty head in the form of communism. And I'm just here sharing my story of, you know, coming and being born in the Soviet Union. My family brought me here when I was four and knowing communism and Marxism is evil. I was an atheist liberal my entire life. I had a radical encounter with Jesus in 2016 and worked undercover with Project Veritas and sharing those stories and what I saw. And by the way, I want to say working on with under Project Veritas, going undercover in these democratic campaigns and spending time with communists and literally people telling me that they're Leninists and Stalinists and Trotskyists, people that in Russia just almost destroyed my entire family and having to listen to what they have to say and, and just the Lord opened my eyes to see that these people, I actually started having compassion for them because I thought Democrats were my enemy until I realized we battle not against flesh and blood. We do battle against principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places, you know, powers of darkness. So the Lord showed me that these people are, are good people. You know, when I say good, obviously no one's good. Only the Father is good. But they, they have they have good intentions, but they have terrible ideology because they're brainwashed and programmed. And so I noticed that I had compassion for them. A lot of them, Antifa, don't have fathers, so pray for them. They need a radical encounter with God like I did that changed my heart, that changed my politics. And that's why, I mean, reawaken America. That's the way we take back this country. It's not through D.C. It's through J.C., Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, I told you it's not just a beautiful face, a beautiful heart that has been transformed by the power of the Holy Ghost through Jesus and Father God. Speaking of that, she got this, the same memo from heaven just like we did. Like When we go out there for rallies and everything, we look at them with our souls that has been created in the image of God. They just don't know it yet. So they have to see Jesus in her, in me, in you, so that they will know and say, hey, my God. In fact, that's what we did, you know, several times when we go to rally of BLM. God said, you go to the very heart of the organization, you know, the leader, mm -hmm. and touch them and say, God loves you. And I told her, I want to adopt you. And she said, you know what she said? Good, I'm an orphan. See, several people that, I mean, I went straight to the leader and God said it. Go straight to and lay hands and pray for her and tell her you're going to adopt her. Mm. And that's exactly what you Woo. said. See, this is the first time we talk. Anyway, see, I'm it's confirming. <laughs> Go ahead. So you can, no, I'm saying okay. tell them how radical that uh. you got saved, that you are willing to go there in the darkest place. Man, he is so merciful. He is so full of grace. Gosh, it's hard to talk about it without like just wanting to burst into tears because yeah. I was mocking my mom because she got saved in America. My mom, when we when we came to America, my mom got saved here, and um, she got radically saved and touched by God, healed by God. She couldn't walk; she almost died. The Lord touched my mom, and she found Jesus. And she would take me to church from age six to twelve until my father left the house, and I was thirteen. It devastated me, um, and. Thank you. It was giving me a tissue. I appreciate it. Sorry. Ah, no, okay. Don't be sorry. That's the tears Grace, of God. true brokenness. Yes. And, and man, it's just, I'm so grateful because I served the devil for such a long time. You know, out in clubs and out in parties and everything and was broken, empty inside. And then literally standing in Jerusalem at the Western Wall, I was 18 years old and I mocked God. I was on a birthright trip with my friends, Jewish friends from high school. And we went on a free trip to Israel. I was 18 years old and I never knew what this was. It was the most profound day of my life. I was standing at the Western Wall and it was one of the last days on the tour. The Lord forced me on a fast actually and I couldn't, hey, and I couldn't um, eat anything for six days. And so the Lord forced me on a fast. I'm at the Western Wall and all of a sudden 
I was standing there saying, look at these idiots praying to a God that doesn't exist at the Western Wall. And all of a sudden, the heavens opened. I felt this presence, this spirit fill me head to toe, hands and feet. I was so full of love and joy and happiness and exhilaration. And I remember even feeling holy pleasure like a holy being one with God. I don't know that it was God. It was times every emotion by like 10,000. It was absolutely amazing. And um, I didn't know what it was. Let me tell you what I knew though. I knew this is what heaven feels like 24 seven. I knew that up was home. I knew that that's what I was created for. I knew I heard in my spirit. I heard this is why the devil created drugs to mimic this. And I didn't know what this was. I realized later it was the Holy Spirit. It was the glory of God that, you know, filled me up and my cup overflowed. I, I understand that verse um, with that experience. I didn't know what it was. I was 18. I, Ten years later, when I had ears to hear, the Lord let me hear through someone who said, you had an experience with God. You felt the Holy Spirit. And I said, no, he didn't. He said, yes, you did. You felt the Holy Spirit. And I said, no. He said, something happened to you, Anna. Think. And I said, well, when I was 18, something happened. I never knew what it was. And I told him. And the other part of it is that I heard angels singing. I don't know. They were angels. I heard thousands of voices just like, ah. Uh. Again, I want to remind you context. I was standing there mocking God in a prideful way at 18, saying, look at these idiots praying to a God that doesn't exist. And what he did, instead of killing me right there, could have zapped me with lightning, and I would have deserved hell. He outpoured on me and I'm so grateful Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus yeah. so that's how merciful he is he's so full of grace and mercy and um, that's his heart he's like oh daughter you yeah. you don't know me yeah. you have no idea and so I went 10 years later when it, when I realized this guy was like well that was those were angels you, that was the glory that was the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. My spirit leaped out of me. I literally felt my, I don't know, I had a spirit, leaped out full joy. And I said, that's the truth. I said, angels. Oops, sorry, I have the mic too close. Angels. I knew those were angels. And I literally fell to my knees. Fell on my knees. And I said, God, you're real. Jesus, you're real. Forgive me. I'm so sorry. I'm the idiot. <laughs> you're real. Oh, my God. And, and I was like, Lord, why didn't you tell me this before? I was like serving the devil and all this. And like, you know, and, and but I realized now I, I was meant to go through those things to be able to reach people who are broken, who have been in the world, who love Hollywood and love reality television. Let me tell you, they are broken. It's a facade. Right. I mean, I know I'm preaching to the choir, but they are broken. Right. Todd, <laughs> okay, Pastor Todd what, was in Hollywood. He knows. Oh, he yeah. was with the celebrities, hanging out at parties. Right. I was partying That's with right. the reality stars. He was partying with the Hollywood stars. <laughs> and we knew, like, broken. They don't, it's just, there's nothing, there's nothing there behind them. It's That's just right. darkness. That's right. And I want, I want you to talk to him. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, what Anna's saying is the truth. By the way, one of my favorite guests on the show, real deal. Anna Kate, and you know what? This is what the Lord is doing in this hour is there's an expose. He's exposing so that we can be awakened because unfortunately, you know, we talk about the mainstream media being the prophets of Baal, modern day prophets of Baal, but what about Hollywood, you know, and the movies and all the content? I mean, you go through Netflix and it's like so demonic, you know, and so even, you know, a lot of believers, you know, still subscribe to Netflix and I'm not saying there's not some good content on there, but there's a lot of demonic stuff on all of these things. And so what God is doing, and I believe this is a revival that we're walking into, we're only at the very beginning stages, but he's waking up, bringing out people. And, and Anna is exposing. Look, I mean, this is real. This is real. The spirit is moving right now on this set with Pastor and Anna. And can I just say something? When you gave your testimony yesterday, there was a woman in the audience, and God bless her, but she had like an F. Biden shirt on, you know. And, and, you know, she's in there, just a patriot, you know, that probably came out, you know. I would have worn that if it was years ago. There you go. Yeah. And, and here's the thing, though. Anna gave her testimony, and, and I wanted to tell you this, Thank and she you. was, this was the same thing that was happening, was she was, she was weeping. And I really believe she was giving her heart to the Lord. And so, so I, I wanted you to know that, but, you know, there's power in, in testimony, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's what the Lord is using you for. So. And Revelation 12, 11 says, we overcome yeah. him, right. the enemy, the devil by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. That's right. mm. And that's really what moves mountains. It's that love, it's that understanding. Listen, when I stood there, when I was 18, 
And it was, I'm telling you right now, I, I, listen, I've been out in the glory of the Lord. I've been out onto the power of God, the peace, the presence, the awesomeness. There was moments where there was, the glory was so strong, I couldn't even get up. But what I felt at the Western Wall, I have never, ever felt anything close to that. I was fully conscious. And it was the most amazing emotions. I could have stood there my entire, I was looking up and I stood there for 35 minutes. I could have stood there my entire life. I remember thinking, if my mom or my dad, I, I love them, I'm I, great, I, great, but this is love. And I did not want to leave. And let me tell you this, I heard the Lord say, this is what heaven feels like 24-7. There was no suffering. There was no pain. It was awesome. Happiness, joy, exhilaration, holy pleasure. I'm telling you, it was awesome. Times it all by 10,000 each emotion. I can pinpoint. That's what's coming. And that's what we are looking forward to. You know, the word says no, no man has seen or heard or even imagined the rich treasures and glory that the Lord has prepared for us in heaven. You guys, not only are we going to be like, what? Like golden streets and like a mansion with fountains and like our animals are hopefully going to be there, you know, but the feeling so worth every moment, every temptation. It's most, it's, he's worth it. First of all, he's worth it. Second of all, that joy, stepping into the joy of the Lord for all eternity is worth it. This life is short. Heaven is all eternity. Hell is all eternity. Let me tell you, God also took me to hell in a dream. And that's an interesting story. Hell. I woke up in a full body sweat. I was telling my friends this morning. Full body sweat. I don't really sweat. I woke up in a full body sweat because I had demons taking turns because I just got saved. And I didn't realize fornication was a sin because I met Christians. And I said, hey, uh, I just started reading the Bible. Right. Am I allowed to? You know, with yeah. my boyfriend, they're like, yeah, the Bible's outdated. Wow. And I didn't know better, but I was feeling so convicted. And I said, hmm. And I said, God, I'm skipping the parts where Paul talks about fornication. Christians are telling me it's okay. The Bible's saying, which one is it? And I, I, I kept asking him. I'm like, I'm getting convicted. So I, like, I wasn't spending time with my boyfriend. I said, tell me. And the Lord took me to hell in a dream. And I saw three demons in front of me. I was I instantly in this dream. It lasted like 10 minutes. I remember every moment. I was in pitch darkness. There's three demons in front of me. And they kept taking turns. Each one of them had a big necklace. You know that bar necklace? Mm, yeah. uh, and it's, you know, the, little, the, the golden chain. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was zoomed. It was like zoomed. It was like wow. huge. It was like a huge bar and a huge chain. And they took turns putting around my neck. I knew it was sin, but it didn't say what sin was on the bar. They, this one went first. He put it on me, and my neck weighed down, and I knew that it was weighing me to hell. Yeah. And I'm wondering, what sin is this? What sin is this? I'm being pulled to hell, being pulled down to hell. And, and the, third, the second one took its turn. And then I screamed out, Jesus, mm -hmm. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. And I woke up mm -hmm. in a full body sweat, and wow. I couldn't go back to sleep. I said, Lord, mm -hmm. what sin are they putting on my neck? What sin is the devil lying to me about? I repent of it. And I heard the Lord say fornication. And I repented and I rebuked it. And I said, Lord, never again. I'm waiting for my husband. Glory to God. And, and we take it, you know, we, we, we think the Bible might not be real. It's real. It's the truth. And every word is true. Fornication, homosexuality, lies, perversion, lust, pornography. There's a lot of Christians stuck in pornography. Preach it. Yep. I used to watch pornography. God totally cleansed it. And let me tell you, when I stopped fornicating, I don't know, the Lord is speaking to someone. Come when, yeah. <laughs> wasn't yeah. planning to go here. Hello. <laughs> um, when, when the Lord took away, when I stopped and realized, I'm like, okay, fornication is a sin. The Lord cleansed me of my lust. Wow. Gone. And watch your eye gate. The Lord said, watch yeah. your eye gate. Pornography is keeping a lot of the church in That's shackles. Right. That's right. Stop watching it. Lord, I repent. And the Lord will supernaturally take it off of you. You yes. will not want to. If you even think, you're like, ugh. You're going to be so convicted. Right. And God doesn't judge you. I'm not judging you. I'm not condemning you. I'm telling you, God is rich in mercy. Yeah. And he loves you. And he wants you completely set free. The Lord said, those who believe in me, they're, they're he who, um, uh, gosh, how am I being this first? The son said free is yeah, free indeed. So you right. are free indeed. Yeah. Walk in faith, not by sight, and God will completely free you. Amen. My God, I feel like I've known her forever. No, really, it's, it's like I'm seeing us this too. That's why I, before the, the camera rolling, I said, you, be ready to go to Hollywood. Be ready. I didn't know all this. 
I haven't heard her speak. I don't know her in the natural, but I know her in the spirit. Exact things that or manifestation of the glory of God that God allowed me to heaven and hell my own things in my life. It's like that transformation. And at first, you know, I love fashion like her. Yeah. I said, I, and then she said, God, so am, am I condemned? Because no, yeah. I called you to be godly, not ugly. Yeah. He said, I called you to be godly, not <laughs> ugly. He said, oh, that was such a revelation for me. Because like people said, okay, how come you don't look like a pastor? I said, what does a pastor look like? Yeah. Fat, old, and ugly. Oh, huh? Yeah. I said, where in the Bible it says there? I said, exactly. I said, that is like something. That's what I'm saying. Look at that. A handsome, mighty man of God and a beautiful woman of God is in, got to be set in the position of authority in Hollywood. I told you that from the beginning I met you. And now this is the first time I said it. I said that to you even before. This is a divine appointment. You did. And it's, it's been prophesied too, even recently. People that don't know me are like, Hollywood, you can be acting. You can be this. I'm like, I, I'm like, only if it's the Lord's will, because no, it I, is. you know, I wouldn't want to ever go back to that. But, but for His glory this time. Exactly. I actually prayed. I said, Lord, right. I've been on camera glorifying the devil in a bikini and the, you know, on, on television. I want to glorify you. Yeah. So I would love to have like a little part. I said, a little part would be great because I, I want to be in a Christian movie and glorify it's Him. Coming. But, it's but, coming. but, but, but it's like all the time. Oh, it's, it's coming. coming. Oh, it's coming. It's like, Lord, a little part. Something no. just happened right that, now in the supernatural. That, I'm telling you. I mean, is it before all this testimony? Okay. <laughs> yeah. God's Spoke and said, you're going to be in Hollywood again, and bam, 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 bam. It's like, what did you say? What you said again, Lord? Yeah. They've been both there. Yeah. And the Lord There's said, there is, yeah. 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 oh, my God, this is too crazy. Because everything she's speaking is exactly what I've been speaking for 20 years as a wow. pastor. Right. And the, clear, oh, yeah, the transformation. This is real. I'm holding a living proof. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a living, yes. living proof That's that right. it's possible yes. to be right. transformed. Right. It's oh, possible yeah. to be young and yeah. handsome and godly. Hallelujah. Come, Come on, on, pastor. Yeah. And you know what? I'm <laughs> so glad that Anna went there. I'm telling you, this needs to be addressed because you know what, we're sitting at this conference right now and there is like, what, 75% women at the conference, right? And I asked the Lord, I said, why is there 75% women? You know what he said? That the men are in shackles because of pornography. That's what the Lord said. Wow. The church is being maimed right now because of the men are in shackles because of pornography. So we need to start speaking on this stuff. And exactly. like Anna just said about fornication and whatnot, no one's even talking. You know, there's people that I know that have been in church for years. I have to tell you. And they never heard it from the preacher. And, and we, need to, we need to let people know because, you know, we hone in on certain sins, which are sins, like yeah. homosexuality and things like that. Yeah. But then we don't talk about adultery, fornication, mm -hmm. all these other things that are, that are literal cancers. In the body. So this is part of this revival is that we're going back to purity and yes. holiness and righteousness. Exactly. And God is raising up a remnant with an anointing to go back into yes. these places and take the territory for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And, yes. and also show the beauty yes. of holiness and yes. righteousness. That is where the glory comes from. It's hunger, holiness, yes. righteousness. He sees it, he honors it, he loves it. You are the apple of his eye. He does not want you shackled. Right. Like, I, like I said before, I was in a dream. The Lord showed me hell. I didn't realize how big of a burden. Let me tell you, the Bible says, right, that the yoke of the enemy is heavy. Mm -hmm. But he said, but my yoke is light. Yes, right. And so the yoke of the enemy was weighing on my neck. If you look at Proverbs 3, 3 also talks about this. That David talked about this. He said, you know, uh, put a garment of praise around your head and a necklace of truth around your neck. And he kept talking about the neck. And also, uh, uh, third, uh, Second Timothy chapter 3, actually my favorite chapter. I, I the, woke me up another yeah. from fornication with that chapter, where it says that, we, uh, that men go into households and captivate weak women wow. weighed wow. down with sin way down. Sin is a weight. We don't see it, but it's a spiritual burden. It's a spiritual chain around your neck. That's why David talks about protect the neck. Jesus even talked about it. He said, put a garment of, uh, he said, put a necklace of truth around your neck because it's light and easy to carry. We don't see the ramifications in the spirit. What is happening with our own soul? And so sin, any open door, you're allowing the devil to have full reign in your life. And God wants you to say no. It says in the Bible, resist the devil and he will flee. Resist him and he will flee. The open door that you've, that you're, the devil's destroying your family and this and that. Well, maybe you have an open door. Maybe you have an open door. Lord, just add, and it says, it says in the word, you know, Lord, go through my heart. Test my heart, Lord. Show me what I need. 
and just ask the Lord, Lord, right now we just, I feel the presence of the Lord. Lord, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, that you love your precious children. And there's no condemnation with the Spirit of God. No condemnation. Father, I thank you. And we lay down all of our sin at your feet, at the righteous, holy feet of our Lord, who has given everything on that cross for us to set us free from everything. Father, I just pray right now, everyone watching right now and even on replay later, you're being convicted right now. The Lord is talking to you. He loves you. He doesn't condemn you. He just says, give it to me. I know it seems hard to get rid of pornography, but give it to me. Cast it at my feet. Peter said, cast all your anxiety upon him, Jesus, because he cares for you. He doesn't want you to carry that burden. He doesn't want you to carry that brokenness, that open door. Cast it on Jesus. Lord, we just give you everything. We give it to you in faith. I don't know how we're going to get through it. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of my pronoun. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of anything. I just give it to you, Lord. I don't know. I repent. I actually see people crying. I see you crying. Hallelujah. God is so excited more than you are right now. He's excited because you are being set free. Yes. You are being set free. He loves you. He wants you to walk in such freedom, such joy, such holiness, such righteousness to take back what the enemy has stolen, which is your kids. Lord, I just free those kids in the name of Jesus, Lord. No more. Those kids are yours, Lord. We dedicate them unto you. Let me tell you another thing. Women, There's a. I see you. The Lord is, let me tell you, my mother prayed me into the kingdom. Yes, that's right. She prayed for me for 25 <laughs> years. I was a heathen yeah. in the world, okay? Okay, but the mom, my mom prayed 25 wow, years. Yep. You're praying your kids into the kingdom. That's Do right. not stop my mom praying. Prayed me in too, by the way. So, yes. yeah, nothing more powerful than the prayers of a mother. Let exactly. me tell you something right there. Amen. There's authority there. I'm speechless because we've been preaching this for 20 years. And sometimes, you know, where are they, God? Where are they? You know, we w- go to Hollywood and pray with them. You know that. We, we connect with everybody. And my God, I said, God, where are they? Hollywood connect. We want the Jesus connect. Hallelujah. Yes. And Hollywood will be saved again right. and delivered. Right. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, we're, this is where we are right now. The word of the Lord is complete victory. Complete yes. victory. <laughs> and so that's where we're walking into right now in this revival. Complete victory for the remnant body of Christ. Those that are willing to stand for righteousness holiness, the full Bible, and this is what God is doing. Anna, we're so thankful for what you're doing out there, and how can people be following you and things like that? You know, you have I wanted, else you to say? Uh, yeah. one last thing. Yeah, please. The devil is terrified. That's right. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> Ter- terrified. He's shaking in his boot. He's like, dang. That's he's why they're shaking. censoring all the things that they're doing is because why would they be censoring people? Truth. He's terrified of the remnant, the power of the authority. The anointing breaks the yoke of bondage. Here you go. Walking in the anointing. And I, and I want to thank you, and I want to pray for you, and thank yes. you for praying this in. And it's you and countless right. others praying right. for Hollywood. And I, I say right. this all the time. Pray for the atheist leaders like Sam Harrison, whatever his yes. name is. He's yeah. an atheist, got a lot of followers. Yes. Pray for his soul. Right. If right. he gets radically Come saved on. and has an encounter with Amen. Jesus, That's imagine right. the millions of fans that follow him when he goes, right. uh, by the way, uh, Jesus is real. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Imagine uh, Milo Yiannopoulos, a conservative, yeah. radically he, saved he recently, say. ta- exactly. talking about homosexuals. Yeah. Like, okay, listen, there's heterosexuals in sin. There's, yeah, there's all people That's in right. sin. Yes. Doesn't wow. matter. You, first of all, the church has has demonized homosexuals, yeah. but uh-huh. never address adultery, right. never address fornication, yeah, exactly. hip, hypocrites much. You know, I'm not going to point fingers, but <laughs> just everything. All all unrighteousness is unrighteousness. It doesn't matter. There's no one sin bigger than the other. Unforgiveness, yeah. fornication, yeah. cheat, all that, sure. pornography. So God doesn't condemn you. But let me tell you, thank you for praying yeah. the sin yes. because it's a oh, movement. Praise that's God, right. you it prayed is. it in. That's why. Yeah. Now, I, that's why I'm crying earlier because right now there. I. Now I could feel and see the living proof. Yes. Hey, prayer works. Prayer works. Yes. You've been, you've been this. We've been I mean, praying. We are yeah. going to Hollywood and praying for all the people that yeah. works wow. there. Yeah. And and when especially when I saw, I said, Oh 
my God, I see politics, I see Hollywood. And remember I said that? Yeah. yeah. And no, then, not me. Look, I talk I, Hollywood. No, no, both. I'm way. just saying. Yeah, no, okay, no, no, but it's the Lord's book. Yeah. The We're not, Lord is pulling out these yeah. people. Yes. And, and, the and bringing is, them back. You know, we know the game plan of the enemy. Yes. And so he's flipping the script. That's uh -huh. what he's doing. And, you know, there's people out there that are watching this right now. You may be involved in sin and, you know, in, in this world. And the Lord is calling you by name right now. Because yes. yeah. you're being convicted watching right. these movies. And you're like, I don't really want to watch this yeah. anymore. They're cursing. They're, you, you might fast forward through the parts. But you're like, nah, I don't want to. Yeah, because the Lord wants wants to call he's calling you higher that's right he's taking you higher right. into intimacy with the lord into righteousness with the lord you know into a holy place that i'm telling the lord longs to give you incredible that's encounters right. that i've experienced and she's experienced yeah. and todd has Absolutely. experienced yeah. incredible experiences yeah. god wants to take you higher Hallelujah. higher Hallelujah. yes <laughs> an ecstasy <laughs> of the holy spirit that's the Nothing real deal <laughs> That's right. There's nothing better than that. No, no, no hangover. Not, yes. you know, you're just flowing in the Your spirit. Your heart's not racing. That's right. No guilt, no shame. <laughs> you know, you, I mean, like, you. there's no side effect, no hangover. You're that's right. right. Yeah, so, yeah. anyway, this is so amazing. Oh my God, it never ends. That's why the Lord said Hollywood is being the red carpet is being covered by the blood yeah. of Jesus and Ooh. people like you guys and we're going to follow also oh you guys that we will walk in that and will give God all the glory Ooh. all the Ooh. praise Ooh. he said I have already covered that he said with my person that yes. red carpet he yes. said and I'm raising up people I mean this is the first yes. time I met her oh yeah. my god if we have the same testimony that's with right. my pastor telling that's all right. of us that's my right. god it's, I feel like oh my god I'm listening to myself you know what I'm saying and that's why I'm crying because yeah. it's the same deal yeah. like radical I got oh. saved in this country that's why I love this country I was yeah. born again right. in this yeah. country. I was born in 4th of July. So I'm super excited. Yeah. At 59, hey, hallelujah. Thank you, I, I was born on September 17, which is Constitution yeah. Day, yeah. actually. Right. Uh, wow. 1789, when it was actually uh, ratified. The Constitution was ratified with its Bill of Rights on Constitution Day. September 17. Isn't that amazing, Grace? Yes, I'm like, come on. We have a purpose, yeah. everyone of us. So, Pastor Todd... Yeah. yeah, let's pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the anointing. I, I literally walked into this room and just felt the anointing. <laughs> See two amazing women of God that are friends, and, and I'm just thankful for the flow. We're walking in the flow yeah. of your anointing, and this is available. People say, Pastor Todd, how can I get that anointing? It's available to you. It's available to you to spend time in that secret place. So, Lord, we just thank you. We give you the glory. We thank you for who you are. We just praise your holy name. You're worthy. And Lord, if, if someone's listening right now and, and today's the day that they're meant to give their heart to you, we just pray that today, and don't wait another minute, today is the day. Thank you, Jesus, that you'd come into their heart and be their Lord and be their Savior. And, and if you are doing that for the first time today, I pray that you'd, you'd reach out to us. You can actually email me, todd.coconato, C-O-C-O-N-A-T-O, at rlcus.org. I'd love to hear your story. Uh, Anna, what's your website, um, it's under construction, anakate.com, K-H-A-I-T, but email me at gatheringbride at, g at gmail.com, gatheringbride at gmail.com, gatheringbrideministries. We're gathering a holy, righteous, That's glorious right. bride That's right. before his return. Hallelujah. Amen. Anna Kate on Twitter, but uh, I'm on YouTube also. Yep. Hope, hanging on by a string with two strikes. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll see you. We love you, Todd. We love you guys. Bye. Love you. Yes.